Today we are celebrating the Mitten State or the Wolverine State or the Great Lakes State, whatever you <laughs> want to call it. It's just an awesome state. It is National Michigan Day and we are embracing our Michigander roots this right. morning. Where are you from? <laughs> and our great state has a very rich history spanning centuries. Michigan became the 26th state in 1837, but people have lived in the Michigan area for at least 12 thousand years with many Native American tribes living on the land, including the Ojibwe, uh, Potawatomi and uh, Ottawa. Uh, there are 11 tribes still living in Michigan today. France originally settled on mm -hmm. this land, hence many of the French sounding names that we know and love like Detroit and Mackinac. Yes, <laughs> a bunch. But aside from our history, it might surprise you, but uh, our state is a pretty cool place to be. You might know that part. Well, that's why we love it. Those of us that have been Michiganders our whole life. Michigan has the largest collection of public golf courses in the United States. Some ranked mm -hmm. in the top 10 uh, in terms of best golf courses in the country. Yeah. We are the only state with a floating post office. I did not know this. Not this everybody knows this. One of the only floating post offices in the world. It is the J.W. Westcott II. That sounds and like a name. I know. It Perfectly. actually delivers mail to the freighters that are going up and down the Detroit River. All the boats. <laughs> blows my mind. Yeah, the sailors have to get their mail somehow. <laughs> yes, they do. Well, half of our state is covered in forests and 40% of our total area is covered in water. That's oh, that's second to Alaska. Not to mention we have the Great Lakes, of course, which is the largest freshwater system in the world. We are a very unique, special state. It is also a great place to live and to travel and to raise a family, not only in the summer, but the winter as well, at least when we have winter, <laughs> which we're still looking for this season. Yeah, and we could talk about it all day, and we're going to talk about it a little bit more this morning. Uh, we want to talk about everything Michigan with uh, Dave Lorenz. He's the vice president of Travel Michigan. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. I should just let you guys talk on and on because you were doing a great job telling everybody about the great uh, things about the beautiful state of Michigan. Interesting, we're the 26th state in the union and we were made the 26th state on the 26th of January in 1837. So, all right. Interesting. It's oh, well, easy to remember that number. Yeah. It is. Of all those things we were running through, what stands out as uh, maybe the most unique to you or or maybe it's something else when you think of Michigan that uh, it just makes us one of a kind. Well, it's it's interesting because it's really the collection of all those things that makes us so interesting. We're such a diverse state, not just in people and in culture and history and uh, in what's happening today, but in places as well. If you think about it, we are probably the most diverse state in the country. Not only do we have big cities and small towns and farmlands and beachlands and two big, big, beautiful peninsulas that that make up our state, but we are a diverse people as well. And we need to get out there and explore each other's areas to see all these beautiful things. We okay. even have four very distinct seasons. Unfortunately, as you point out, not a lot of snow in the lower part of the lower peninsula right now, but don't worry guys, if, if you like skiing as much as I do, you can still head up north especially way up to the UP. Lots of snow up there right now. Yeah. <laughs> I actually got buried in some of it, 35 inches in three days with my in-laws that live in Sault Ste. Marie. <laughs> um, I was on Mackinac um, a couple summers ago, also do some golfing in Northern Michigan in the summer. And whenever I go, I always meet people from out of state that vacation here. And it always makes me feel so great to know that people from the Carolinas to California know about the beautiful locations and unique locations in our state. So we have this January 31st, a national plan your vacation day. So give us some tips on some places that maybe we haven't thought of that we should definitely check out. Well, there's a reason why people from all over the world come here. Of course, the Pure Michigan campaign, we do our best to tell everybody what a beautiful place this is to live, work, and play. But uh, there are so many cool things you can do here. You know, I like to hike trails and we have, we have like 13,000 miles of trails in this state. We're the trail state. But as you mentioned, a lot of people like to golf. We have more public golf courses than anybody else in the country. So you think about things like this in combination with all those cool indoor big city experiences as well. People might be surprised to hear the number one tourism location in the state of Michigan, Detroit. And you know, we need to get out and enjoy our own communities more as we get out and explore the great state of pure Michigan.
Yeah, I, I, the one thing that always blows my mind is how many people haven't really done the full UP kind of uh, vacation trip. You have Tequamanon Falls up there, which is uh, mm -hmm. incredible, and you Fiction have, yeah, like you said, Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah, the kayak. Sioux Locks. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it just goes on and on. Not to mention everything in the lower uh, portion. You mentioned, Dave. I'm glad you did about uh, the weather struggle this year, which is strange without the uh, snow down here. But uh, what are some trip ideas for the winter months, maybe without the snow, or maybe when we do get the snow as well? Yeah, well, you know, first off, we make snow. I mean, we're the best in the world at making snow. There's a company that a lot of our ski resorts use uh, to make snow uh, out of Midland. That's the same company that works for the Olympics all around the world. So believe me, our ski resorts up north have snow. You should get up there this weekend, have a great deal of fun. But if you're looking to do other things, including what you can do, what you can see here in the, in the pictures, the the beautiful things you can do, especially up in the UP right now, because there is plenty of snow. The Keweenaw yeah. Peninsula gets more snow than anywhere else in the country. So lots of cool things there, but you might want to do some more indoor things. So our indoor water parks are pretty spectacular and they're not too far away either. Bavarian Inn and Frankenmuth was our first in the state and they're actually building out and expanding and uh, that's pretty cool, but it's still open right now. Zenders there, and then they're all over the state, places like Traverse City and, mm -hmm. and over at Des Moines, up in the, uh, the Petoskey area as well. Those are just a few things to consider. I think the Great Wolf Lodge is building another one uh, down this way, closer to uh, yeah. the one in Traverse City. Well, yeah. not to mention Frank and Yeah, Lisa. they're really good. Great <laughs> for families, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Wow. Well, I you know, you're telling us what we already know as native Michiganders, but there's certainly a lot of people that have moved into the metro area from other parts of the country that are getting to know our state. And so we really appreciate you kind of sharing some of those great gems with us from Travel Michigan. Appreciate it, Dave. Uh, Thanks. Always a pleasure. Remember, your trip begins at Michigan.org. I love it. Spoken like, <laughs> almost sounded like Tim Allen there, I think. <laughs> Thanks, Dave.